And every time some strange thing is said, attack it with vigor based on the science, based on the evidence. You have to counter that mis and disinformation from every angle. That means every media platform use people who are trusted in the community. I told you that we did research before. Well, some of the research we did was into who they trusted to get the information from. They trusted um, the doctors and nurses in their community. They trusted public health agencies, CARFA. They trusted PAHO. So it's not just the message, but who gives the message and how the message is given. The media is really good for raising awareness, but to change behavior, you have to go out there. Um, and then it's those doctors and nurses talking to people and allaying their fears. That's some of the work that needs to go on when you have misinformation and disinformation on the grand scale because it was not any amateur event. This was a professional approach to a communications campaign. It was just about misinformation and disinformation. So you have to really get ahead of it with boots on the ground. Yes, with the media, because they raise awareness, but with boots on the ground to really talk to people when you're talking about behavior change. Awesome. And in the future, in the future, what we need to do is to be ready with messages like a, 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 a template. And then you plug in different pieces of information that will evolve as the disinformation evolves that demands um, some funding which we in the Caribbean especially in health don't always have for communications but we've got to find ways around it we've got to find people who can spread the message in an authentic way early o'clock um, you can't ever stop with that actually so that's the kind of um, advice that I would give, the, the advice from experience.